Okay. All right. So we're going to play some FTL now that my sound's working and I'm going to be annoyed by stupid weed whackers and lawnmowers coming right outside my window. So we haven't done an NG, a Fed, or a slug ship yet. I don't think I've done Lanius or Crystal yet either. Let's do an NG run. Uh, somebody in on one of my YouTube videos is commenting about they got their first win with a, a drone only run. We're not going to go for that, but uh, got me thinking. Drones are pretty fun when they come together. So let's start. Let's start with NG. Uh, so this is the max OP nest challenge, which means we are trying to get one or both of the OP systems of cloaking and hacking. So we want to get either or of those. Um, this ship could use both. So our 100% goal would be to get uh, both of them online, but we'll have to see just what happens in the runs. Let's do it. The regular donut. That's right. The regular donut. The silver donut. Holy crap, what a start. Wow. First jump, free defense drone, Mark II. That's pretty badass. Four damage for nine scrap. Eh. Eh. Not amazing. You got a Fed B win on easy yesterday with two times burst laser one and two times fire bombs. <laughs> wow, the double fire bomb run, huh? Interesting. Okay. All right, we can hit that. Looks like we're going through a nebula here is what this is looking like. You're back. You may remember me from that time we talked about words Rand cannot say. All right. What's up, TJ Total Blazing? How are you doing? That one time. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a mantis. Okay. Um, good. We doged. So let's go in here so he doesn't actually do damage to us. Doodly do, 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 do. Okay. No running away for you, Mr. Mantid. You go to hell and you die. Yeah, I'm in a singing mood because all weekend I was working on singing stuff, which is great. Um, <clears throat> but uh, there are times when uh, let's see if this is a store before I put scrap and piloting for the nebula. There are times when I wish I got paid earlier for some of my stuff. Because most of my singing stuff, it's like I work on it for months. And then I eventually get paid. Oh my god, Mr. Shogi with the 26-month streak, man. Speaking of Horizons Unknown After Earth, that's the guy who runs that, that thing. So, thank you so much, man. You are awesome, sir. Just talking about your wonderful... RPG that we play on Fridays. How are you doing, man? Oh, we're going to take damage here. Oh, and it's in my shields. Got it. Okay, sweet. Uh, we confirm that he can either say F or C. No, I say the F. I drop F-bombs all the time. But I do not say the C word on stream because um, some people find that in America more offensive than other words and I am kind of one of those people <laughs> helped out he stuck up on missiles and got explosive replicator nice wow wow so you are really really invested in the uh, in the whole firebomb meme okay uh, 26 months, that's a long time. Good thing, Rand's the best. Good thing. Otherwise, you would have wasted so much money. Oh, wait, you have. Okay. Promise to help, I got NG. Beautiful. You have wasted so much money. All right, let's go ahead and get a uh, shield value point. Four more scrap, we can actually get the level two shields. You had way more than you needed towards the end. Way more missiles, I, I bet. I mean, how many firebombs do you need... Really? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We probably get seven jumps here. Uh, 
The layout's not the best, so I'll probably just go one, two, three, four, five, six. Miss out on one jump and hope we get something from these nebulas. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, it's the same thing. Hey, what's up, EPR, EPR Light? How are you doing, man? So, Shogi, did you go watch... Did I hear you and Shane were going to go see a movie this weekend? Did you guys go see a movie? I'm always curious, since I never watch movies, what, what the people who actually... The hip kids are going to watch these days. Even though you're not a hip kid. No, no offense. <laughs> but you are a hip old guy who goes and watch movies. <laughs> Come on, there we go. No shields for you. And when I say old, I mean that in the nicest possible way. You've been here two years just waiting patiently for the no hands only face challenge. <laughs> for the face roll FTL challenge. You woke up late and had to work, rush to work. Oh, yikes. That's never fun. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get shields, but no power. And we can get power out of O2 to get our combat drone online. I mean, I'm old too. Last week, Shane, Mike, and I went to see it, Chapter 2. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool. I think you did tell me about that. Or you guys were talking about that, going to see it, Chapter 2. And I, and I had mentioned that I had a dream with apparently whatever Pennywise or whatever freaking me out in my dream. This guy's not hit a single system room. Did you just hit this room over and over? Okay, wow. Well, great. It's like freaking freakiest freaking freaking fracky clown of all time. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we could easily get five, but no way to actually have a route that gets us five. I did make hickory and pecan smoked chicken and ribs this weekend, so next time get an Uber and come on over. An Uber straight from Texas to California. Man, that would be... God, I wonder how many hundreds of dollars it would it'd be for an Uber going from Texas to California. Somebody, somebody look that up. How much for an Uber from Dallas, Texas to Simi Valley? Oh, we got a doge. Nice. I'm guessing a thousand dollars. That's my guess. Thousand dollar Uber ride. Hey, Randy, do you know anything about FTL modding? I feel like I should mod in some more Alanius events, including the one where we hit one with the ship, but you got no idea how to mod. You feel like it'd just be a simple extra events mod. Things I would consider fit into FTL canon not make a major impact on gameplay, just a little flavor. There, There is a way to do it. I don't know how to do it. The only modding I know about is Superluminal, which lets you design ships. But SMPK, SMPK Insurrection and Cats Edition both have a bunch of events. I have no idea how to do them, though, because it's probably messing with the code of FTL. But you could talk to... Um, uh, the guy who does the SMPK Insurrection mod used to hang out here all the time called Slow Rider X Core. So he probably knows how to do it, but I don't know how to do it. I wonder if you can even request that kind of an Uber ride. <laughs> I know. What driver's just like, sure. I'll take two days to drive to California. All right. Um, Let's go ahead and sell that. You have no weapons, do you? No. You have just another combat drone, though. FTL cannon sounds like a terrifying weapon. <laughs> FTL cannon, that's right. Reminds me of that YouTuber that makes those silly-ass challenges like playing FPS games with a Nintendo Power Glove or voice control. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I remember watching one of those. I forget what I watched him use, but that's, that is crazy. All right, so cloaking and... Hacking are the two systems we're looking for. Kind of want to keep the defense drone. Um, so I might just get power here. I mean, if we're going to get cloaking... I mean, this is my missile defense right now, so I shouldn't just get rid of it. If he had drone uh, recovery arm, I think I would totally get that. and Maybe even a second combat drone. But we're not doing any crazy challenge. We're using only drones or something. One, two, three, four. Now nah, we just gotta go one, two, and miss out on a jump. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm I'm curious if this quest it happens to be another store. No, nope, just a reactor upgrade. I'll take that. Okay. 
It's my fault for being late, Rand. I was up till 12.30 last night playing Borderlands 3. Nothing to apologize. Staying all night, staying up all night playing video games. I was staying up all night. I was playing PoE yesterday and then watching YouTube videos. So that's what I was doing. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm not any better than you are about that. We think about Atlantis are the slimes of the FTL universe. Slimes. Oh, wow. Free flack one, boys. It's a good start to our day. That is that's how that's how I like to start my day. Flack ones just 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 for free. Just free flack ones. What's up, Anulu? How are you doing? Um, since you can't do damage to me, I will save drone parts and do this. Wow. Free flak one, like second or third jump in sector two. It's a good start to my day. I I cannot complain about this day. Rigged, pre-recorded, hacked. All of those things. All of those things are true. I have pre-recorded this while hacking the game and rigging it in my favor. I bet you didn't know you could do all those things. I have my ways. Staying up all night watching streams. What a waste of time. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, I remember there's a... I, like I said, I spent a lot... Too much time watching random YouTube videos. There's a YouTube music video that I watched. It's kind of old. Yeah, it's probably really old now. But it's like just some song of a guy playing... Showing much like Mario Kart and random video games. With a song that he just made up. And the words of the song are... Wasting my time playing video games. Wasting my time playing video games. That's like the whole song. Over and over. Losing my mind. Losing my... Something. I don't know. Something like that. It's <laughs> like, hey, that's the theme song for Twitch. Theme song for Twitch before Twitch was Twitch. More free stuff, I know, right? Let the flackening begin. We can't get a full flackening on this ship, sadly. All right, another guy can't do damage to us. You have to admit you've made me warm up to flat guns more. I don't I don't know why I have to convince anybody of the power of flax. Just watch one video of the flackening. You will want all the flax like me. We've had like three flackenings, I think. So many, many options for enjoying the flackening. Wasting my time listening to that song, that's right. <laughs> What was Twitch before Twitch was Twitch? Twitch was Justin TV before Twitch was Twitch, actually. That was a thing. I I started watching Twitch back when it was Justin TV and not Twitch. Oh, no, no running. Um, the first streamer that I watched a ton of was Lethal Frag, and I think he started when Twitch was Justin TV, I believe. And he was the one who got me watching and playing FTL. Yep, that is that is actually a thing. Justin.tv was what it was. I don't know if that's still a thing or not. Oh my god. We do we are gonna have the flackening, apparently. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. I have to do this. I have to do this. I have no choice. I have no choice. The flackening is a happening. I have I have boss ready weapons now. I just need hacking and cloaking and it's GG, man. Holy crap, what a run. You called you called the flackening death dog, you did. What's up, Jarl? How are you doing? Okay. Okay, a little late on that. It's fine. Okay. He's going to take out my shield. That's kind of bad. But our defense drone Mark II can possibly... Oh, yeah. We shouldn't take any damage here. Just don't fail, drone. I believe in you, defense drone. Nice. This is easy street now. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, best thing I could get right now would be cloaking. It's super expensive, so we probably don't get that yet. But uh, we're we're looking we're looking insane. 
we're looking insanely strong right now, that's for sure. How ridiculous is a Fed seat flackening? Well, the problem with Fed seat flackening is it takes forever to get online because Fed C is actually a terrible ship at the beginning. It has the potential to be the best flackening because of the flak artillery and it's the only ship with it. But you have to get really lucky. So sell both your flaks and get a full missile arsenal. That sounds like the worst advice I've ever heard. Thanks, DJ. <laughs> Thanks for that terrible, terrible tip. Let the flax fire once, see how it goes. Really well, honestly. Sector 2 and 2 flax already, I know. One of them, well, and actually I've gotten all of these in this sector. I got a free flax sector, uh, like first or second jump. Then I bought the flax of the heavy laser at the store. So, I mean, I may have splurged a little bit. But God, I love NG sectors. All right, I could maybe sell defense two for hacking. If they have it. I don't think I'd have enough, so I think we skip the store here. Sadly. As long as you don't kill them all. All right. No promises, but I can, I can attempt to not kill them all. How about I just kill some of them? This is a free weapon event, I believe, or free drone part. One of those two. All right, let them live. <laughs> you have flax, we surrender. Oh, it's a heal burst, great. All right, cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. I, need, I now need triple automated reloader for sure. Yeah, that would be amazing. Wrangled Ink Spud, what a name. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Okay, we're getting boarded. All right, we're just going to do this and have no doges. Who needs doges when you got defense mark two drones? Whoops, I didn't mean to move the human. Human, you stay there and get eaten. Whoops, I forgot to auto fire. And I'm playing like I'm playing no pause again, which is dumb. Whoops. Oh my god, the double rewards. Is this hard mode? Okay, just mad to make sure. Wow, what a freaking start. I'm using all of my RNG my first run of the day. Holy crap, this run right now. Question, what happens if you stagger four over shield drones? You can't, because there's no ship that has four shield drones. I think I've done a run where I got three, and that's the most you can get because it's eight power to use the Stealth Sea having the two power shield drone, and then two others that are three power, so a total of eight power. And I think it was pretty good. Um, but I don't remember very well. Hypothetically. Um, you wouldn't be immune to damage, but if you started with a Zoltan Shield and had four of them, it would be insanely hard to beat you, but if somebody had a, if you ran into a ship with double Vulcans or the, uh, final ship, uh, the, uh, that's a Mantis. Ice. Human getting me a Mantis. Uh, the flagship has so many projectiles that it could probably do some some damage to you so hopped on over from the youtube channel nice wrangled ink spud well welcome to the live stream man appreciate that follow that's a terrible deal because i don't need missiles i just need fuel and i'd love me more ng sectors give me all the free stuff man still need defense against borders hacking and mind control not necessarily if you're if you're she if your zoltan shield recharged fast enough a lot of those things would get cut off so, it would be interesting. You, it would be hard to take damage. I hypothetically, I have no idea. Hey, what's up, Thousand Bearded Minutes? How are you doing, sir? Hypothetically, I don't know how well, but you know what? You could mod the game in uh, Super Luminal and try it. I believe. Pretty sure you could. Uh, you could get that in Super Luminal.
doodly do to do 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 Pretty good dodges there. See if we can get this missile offline. I'm thinking probably not. Or probably yes. Beautiful. Frickin' flax. What else do you need? That Beatles song should be all you need is flax. Flax are all you need. 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 It's all I need. GG. GG, we got two flax. Uh, yeah, I mean, double Vulcans probably could get through. I mean, double Vulcans, probably what they'd be better at against so many overshield drones is actually shooting down the overshield drones so they don't stay online. They'd probably just pelting with that many projectiles over and over, probably destroy the drones themselves. You're tired, but okay? I know that feeling. Okay, that's a really strong ship. All right. I need power. Alright, we got the missile offline. Alright. Zero dodges. Uh, wow. Five fuel. It's a pretty good deal. Five fuel, eight missiles? Okay, I think I'm gonna take this deal, because eight missiles gets us close to that 15 missile mark. Which is uh, the cutoff for selling 15 for 45 scrap. So I'm actually going to take that deal. Oh, it actually gives us that mark. Okay, beautiful. So we're looking for hacking. We're looking for cloaking. We have a heal bomb to sell. We're looking strangely OP for Sector 3. Reject their offer. You have lots of lasers. And uh, I'm saving my scrap for the uh, store here. Oh god, this is he's gonna definitely do damage to us. Oh Wow, we dodged three out of five shots. I bet he's raging hard you salty bro. Oh man, I'm salty cuz Wow, we didn't hit at all. There's unbelievable. There's there's all there's all my non dodges. Okay. Now we're good Doot, 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 doot. You're trying to think of a concept for a turtle class ship, something that can endure damage for an incredibly long time without issues. Wow, that's another good deal, but it's not as good, and uh, I need scrap here, so. Um, I mean, if you want a really good turtle ship, make it a small ship, give it a defense drone, and start with two shields or something like that. I mean, basically, if you had Mantis B, but instead of being a long ship that can get hit by missiles, a small ng ship so that the uh defense drone can be um be consistent and not fail but yeah i mean it's a cool idea with uh getting a bunch of zeltan overshield generating drones i like the idea all right this 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 store has both the things i want um we're definitely getting cloaking 100 percent cannot afford the hacking now that I have the cloaking, do I want to sell the defense drone? Probably not. That'll probably still be useful. 50 scrap to get my heavy laser online. I do need a power. I could sell this for a power, but we're looking pretty strong. I don't really need to sell anything. Selling anything is probably just a less efficient way of advancing my ship right now. Mantis B comes closest to a turtle safe? Yeah, for sure. Swarm missile. Uh, no. No. Secure the cache. Ho, 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 ho. I don't know if I've ever used... Have I tried two defense twos before? I mean, this is becoming... This is quickly becoming a turtle ship. If I had this for my weapons, this for my defense, plus cloaking and hacking, I'm feeling like we could possibly get a zero damage boss fight. Maybe. Holy two free defense. Two drones, Batman. All right, that's a sun. All right, I want power and I want dodge. Let's go ahead and get the power first. Wow, two free defense, two drones. That's 
actually insane. Let's go for the weapons here. See if we can get the missile offline. Nice. God, Flax are just so insanely strong. Two volleys, he's got no shields, and his missile's already offline. <laughs> Three volleys, and he's dead. Good fight. Good fight. The only damage we took was the was actually from the solar flare. Biggest weakness right now is borders, but we do have a mantis to help with that as well. Three. How do I know? Did I get a map? How do I know that there's a ship fight here? I didn't get long range scanners. I must have got a map or something. Alright, mantid. Get that bomb offline, maybe? Okay, I'll take that. Okay. I need to be careful that my NG doesn't die from getting bombed. Okay, we're good. You downloaded a map off a Rebel automated ship. Okay. I forgot that I did that. Because I don't read any events anymore. I just see what the options are and choose the one that I... Always choose. Turtle class ship would have basically no dodge. Only three health. So if your shell does crack, you're dead. It would start with charge weapons. It's a cool idea. I mean, if you design it, super luminol, play it. We we used to do, a long time ago, we would do viewer-created ships. And that was really fun. So if you have any ideas like that, I can put it together and I'll play it, man. Download Superluminal and build the thing. It's been a while since I've played a viewer-created ship, so that would that's that would be a fun thing to do again. What's your specialty? Yeah, piloting. I already did it myself, game. Did it myself. I'd be interesting to, interested to see how well that would work. That's fine. I don't know if we've ever had a, a ship like that, a turtle clash modded ship. I like the idea behind it, though. Okay, you're doing your full volley, so I'm gonna, like, allow one or two shots to hit for doges. And then cloak. There we go. Ah, I don't know that we got any training there. Okay. Oh my god, we're so strong. <laughs> Jesus. Mantis Homeworld or Zoltan Controlled? Well, Zoltan Controlled would be my last green sector, but I don't really want to go Zoltan Controlled because they love to have their Zoltan Shields with missiles. I do have Cloaking and Defense Drone now. And I did say boarding was my biggest weakness. Have you done the mod that lets you play as the Rebel Flagship? EPR Light, a while back, I think, yes, I have, but a while back, um, I think it was Infested Angel, one of our longtime viewers a long time ago, designed flagship versions of every different race's ship. And that was one of my favorite series that we did. I don't think I have any of those. And I don't think I was uploading to YouTube when we did that, but we did a whole series of that and that was super fun. Gazak is impossible. Not impossible, but challenging. Uh, Cause I need to get level three sensors and I need to get level two heal bay. I'm still gonna go Mantis Homeworlds though. Are there any mods for playing as auto scouts? Wrangold, Ink Spud, probably. I would guess most likely there is, yeah. I'm not going to really plan on getting Kazakh. I just want to get my weapons online and. You know what? I. Let's get doors. I think doors is the most important thing being in a. In a Mantis sector here. I'm here for counting. What's up, programmatic? <laughs> All right. All right, no ASB here, so we can just 4v2 these guys. OK. 
Okay, let's make sure the Mantis gets the killing blows here. Beautiful. Whoops. Do, do, do. Your gift subscription ended? I think a lot of them did, Maloxel. I looked at my subs this morning. I was like, I lost 20 subs. But uh, I was sure there was a lot of gifted subs running out and all that sort of stuff. Uh, there's the free weapon quest. Oh, yeah, the one where you let them run away. It's true. There is that one. Okay. I want to get as much before the store as I can because I might sell second defense drone if there's something good. Come on. Come on, NGs. Not NGs, Mantis. Give me ship fights or free stuff. That is a lot of empty jumps, man. This has been only empty jumps so far, actually. Here we go. Right, he's running. Big giant missile. But hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get him down. It's not that impressive, but I'm working on trying to get a win with every ship now. I would say that's impressive. Okay, that's fine. I mean, if it's your, especially if it's your first time doing it, man. Do not discount the achievement of getting first wins on FTL. Okay. Game, could I please... Could I please keep him from running? I'm going to cloak that. What are these? How, how do you have two goddamn shields and that much dodge? Do you see how many misses I'm getting? Game... Well, he's running. I don't think there's any way I stop him now. This is why I wanted to get my heavy laser online, but this is bullshit. I freaking hate guys with insane defense who are just immediately trying to run. Look at that bullshit amount of dodges right there. Well, if I have to run before him so I don't lose a jump. Absolute bullshit. F you game. Wow. From two shields with a million dodge to three shields. Hopefully with not a million dodge. Jesus game. And his dumbass doesn't know how to use a charge laser, at least. Ha! <laughs> we took out his O2 with that little sliver while aiming at his shields. Amazing. Yeah, that's that's salty me. Not at missiles so much, though. Just at stupid BS ships that have too much defense. You'll also count your dodges. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Well, I didn't dodge anything there. What the hell? Why did I not fire all my weapons? Um, no, I need scrap right now. Not freaking fuel. Although I kind of need fuel. But I need scrap more than I need fuel. So I'm going to a store where I want to get my heavy laser online. But I just need to buy repairs. Probably only start it with a single charge laser. Actually thinking about this, it'd be really easy to build this in Superluminal. The hardest challenge would be getting assets for the ship design. You're thinking literally our turtle in space will do. <laughs> yeah, we've had some crazy, ridiculous ship designs with viewer-graded ships. So I'd be interested to see what you come up with. Programmatics in full Excel mode. <laughs> Oh, God. These stores are so good right now. They're so tempting. I have to get this, though. I need to get my heavy laser online, but long-range scanners is too insane. I know. I just passed on a third flak, but... That's not what I, that's not what I need right now. I mean, I always need it, but it's not what I should do right now. Passed on a flak. I must be sick. Rand, you passed on a flak. Is everything okay? I'm all right. How dare you? How dare you not buy a flak? <laughs> okay. I just wanted to get the heavy laser online. It was too expensive to get the flak. The Discworld Turtle would be a hilarious ship. The Discworld Turtle? Turtle? 
Hey, what's up, Ben Heald? You finally got a stream, but you're in school. You should probably be paying attention to your class right now. But glad to see you. <laughs> if only it weren't 2 a.m., you might start working on this now. <laughs> I've had literally a burger in space before, so I think a turtle is good. Yeah. It's not the real rant. Pre-recorded. Fake rant. Oh, God. What is that? Sun. With no stuff in it, so that means... It's probably free borders. Actually, I'm going to move this guy. Here. No, I'm going to move you here. Prepare, prepare for boarding. Whenever I come back, I see a crazy weapon system. You're not disappointed. Nice. Oh, okay. They're in the heel bay. That's fine. Welcome, humans. Sadly, because you're in the heel bay, I will not be venting you today. Let's see, we're going to do it this way. Human will kill him faster. Chat is pre-recorded messages. This is pre-recorded run. And I have hacked the game to get best, best outcome for every event. Okay. All right, cool. One, two, three. Like it. It's not a dive, right? Good. It's all scripted. Everything's scripted, man. A sea turtle, preferably, rather than a tortoise. The fin-like legs look more like wings. I like that idea. I right, no cloaking for you and no shields, so... Auto-fire, auto-fire. Whoops. Let's try to take out that laser. Beautiful. Very nice. Um, I was just going to say, I'm going to let this bomb hit, but <laughs> he didn't get a single shot off. So, no bomb hit. I like it. Let's get power, and we're going to look good, and we're going to start saving up for hacking. Got to get our challenge done now. Rand gets a third flak and a healing drone. Loses on stage two due to triple fire in his weapons and breach in his cockpit. My God, what a rude thing. To say, my Loxel. That's rude. <laughs> yeah, four damage for 15 scrap. All right. Yeah, it's better than four damage for nine scrap like we got earlier, I guess. Better idea, lion turtle ship. What's a lion turtle? I don't know if I've heard of a lion turtle before. And everybody in chat just yawned. Uh, okay, another free weapon. Okay, there's a store. Is it worth diving here? I have cloaking. I have a repair bomb to sell. I don't think it's worth a dive just to sell that. We'll probably get another store soon. It's from Avatar Last Airbender. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they like to combine combine two animals into one in the air in Last Airbender. That's right. Okay, interesting. <laughs> We're talking hybrid ships. Why not a griffin ship or a chimera? Well, the idea was a turtle ship, and now they're giving ideas for what you could combine with a turtle ship. Wow, this is um, a really good setup here. Um, let's actually do this. We're going to get level three def uh, level 2 defense drone, and we'll cloak probably on the flak volley. Oh man, rock music so good. Okay, he'll get that. I'm gonna go ahead and cloak this because he'll shoot the missile, but the flax might get through. Okay, turn off auto fire here. I'm gonna wait for his cloak. If I had fired as soon as my weapons were ready, I wouldn't have needed to. Um, wait there, but I didn't. Because I'm playing like we're playing no pause, even though we're not playing no pause. Alright, get wrecked, bro. You have an insanely strong ship and you just got destroyed. Six fuel? No thanks. Like, this ship would piss me off no end if I was playing any other ship that wasn't so OP. But this is such an OP setup right now that's just get get blasted, man. We even have the defense drone for, like, lulls. 
Um, all right, so we need to get hacking. Asteroid field. Yeah, we can do an asteroid field with cloaking, I'd say. Uh, a chimera, a chimera with the goat head as the artillery beam. Goat head as the artillery beam. Interesting. Okay, all right. Well, this is this is this is gonna be very useful cloaking thing here. Oh, oh, you have free borders and extra borders. How how nice for you. Oh, damn, I was hoping I'd get to. Oh, I did! Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect timing on the cloak. B A U T full man. Man, just give me all the flax all day every day, and I will be happy with every run. Um, somebody on YouTube had asked about what do you think the percentage of difficulty is on FTL for RNG? And it's like like somebody in chat said the other day. For experienced players, I would say most of the challenges in RNG. It's not in gameplay anymore. It's just about what you run into that is just too OP. Sun. I think we'll skip the sun. Oh my god, it's Kenny. What's up, sir? Shogi here. He was earlier. He subbed earlier and hung out for a bit, so... He's probably lurking. You hate free borders with extras? Well, we dealt with it pretty well. Cloak this missile volley. Cloak that entire volley. We got one missile offline. All right. Looks like we're using a defense drone. Oh, I thought that was actually going to hit. I'm here, or here, or, or there. Shogi's places. Ah, uh, The only way our defense drone fails. That's why I hate defense 2 drone. He shot down a freaking laser instead of the missile. Freaking stupid defense drone. You're stupid. All right, if I could replace him with a defense drone mark one, I would for sure. True for any game if you never make mistakes. Hey, what's up, Britnoth? Yeah, I guess so. But I feel like roguelikes... Like FTL, it's a bigger thing. I mean, in PvP games, I don't think RNG plays as big of, of an issue with experienced players because that's why you watch pro gamers because it's skill against skill, you know? Who's the better player? Very rarely does it come down to RNG, I would say. People complain that games nowadays are too easy or getting easier in hopes to lure newer players, but sometimes we need that difficulty to be good. Oh, I, I, that seems like an overgeneralization to me. <laughs> I think it really depends on what game you're talking about, if it's too easy. I mean, any game made by the Dark Souls people, I don't think anybody would complain are too easy. I have 20 drone parts. Let's just do this. Good job. Uh, free borders aren't enough of a BS mechanic. You have to have more on top of that. Well, I mean, again, if you want challenge in this game, you need some events like this. <laughs> One and a half months trip to Korea. Wow. Sounds like fun. Uh, yeah. Affording a trip to Korea is, is a thing. Is... Yeah, that's 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 how it sounds hard to afford that. If the question what percentage of runs are winnable winnable, then that's pretty high for a game with so much RNG. So if you had to choose three overshield and one defense or just all overshield. If I had to choose, I would choose one defense one and two overshields, I guess. It's probably what I would choose. There are ways to counter being boarded. If you never get boarded, then doors, etc. wouldn't be much use. 
Dark Souls is interesting because whilst it's extremely hard at first, it's also so predictable once you know what to look for. Yeah, I guess it's like uh, Dark Souls is one of those games where skill is actually a major factor in how, how well you do in the game. Even Russian can afford a trip to Korea. Yes, because it's literally right next door to you. <laughs> literally right next to you. I really want to go to Poland for the EU land event, land event, but you can't afford it either. Nope, no deal. Oh, yikes. No doges, though. Let's cloak that. Make sure we don't take damage. Uh, once you know the game, Dark Souls isn't hard. It's just intentionally frustrating for new players who don't know that walking around this corner will kill you for no reason. Yeah. You're going to Poland next year, though? Nice. Next door, it's 8K kilometers. Well, from the closest part of Russia or from where you live? It's uh, cheaper for me to go to other countries than it is to even go to the next major city here in Australia. That's weird. That's weird. All right, I should get third shield. I'm still hoping for freaking hacking, though. Uh, do I have anything to sell? I have repair bomb, so I could repair sell sell repair bomb to get hacking. So still hoping for that. From Moscow to Seoul, okay. That's normal in Australia, okay. Strong enough to destroy you. Just not hopefully this ship. All right, so this is the one where we just don't take damage or uh, survive as long as possible. You live on the border with Poland? Nice. Oh, God. This kind of is that ship. All right. This is fine. So what we're going to do is get our defense drone up. Cost me about 2.5K to go to Poland from Texas, so that's fun. Yeah. I don't know how much it would cost to get to South Korea from Texas, but I would guess it's in a similar price range to that. Because that is freaking far. I've been asked to go to Canada with a um, singing group. 87% dodge. And I have a defense 2 drone marked uh, online. Defense drone marked 2 online. And we still get hit by a fucking missile. This freaking game, man. I swear. Okay, good. He's leaving. Good job, defense drone. Good. Okay, there we go. Hopefully we can hit this quest marker. It's like $100 to Warsaw from Moscow. Wow, that's nothing. That is, I don't think I could get a plane ticket that cheap in, in America. Even if I flew down to Austin, I think it'd be at least 200 bucks. And Austin is like a three hour drive, maybe four hour drive from me. It's only 12.45 a.m. here. What are you saying, 3 a.m. cultured soul? Okay, I don't know what that means. Um. He said prices are a lot worse for Perth, which is true. Went to Melbourne and Sydney once. Much rather it was over here. Okay. All right. Uh, quest is over there. Okay. I think we're definitely going to dive here because we have a store and we have this quest that's a like free weapon or something. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, and then dive, we're going to do that. You are poor Fs here. Yeah, well, it's a good thing things are cheap, because if things weren't cheap, then you'd probably all die of not being able to afford dinner <laughs> or something. So, I definitely understand. I mean, because you don't have money, cost of living is lower. That's kind of the trade-off, right? It's how econ economics works or something. I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, we just... I'm just gonna use defense drone. It's fine. I have plenty of drone parts. No need to skimp. You want to visit Australia's capital, Vienna? <laughs> Austria, huh? Good eye, mate. <laughs> We'd all die of cheapness. That's right. Why Perth out in the middle of literally nowhere? I don't even know where Perth is. Or is that a country, a city? I don't know what that is. One, two, three, four, five. That would be a double dive, so we're not doing that. Yeah. All right. So we need to repair and we need hacking. There's hacking and there's a defense drone mark one. Okay. So I got to decide. Well, we're 100% doing this. We got to get the hacking. So I could sell defense two, get defense one, and then repair a bit. Is that what I want to do? Or I just repair a little bit and get backup battery. Perth is a city in Australia. Oh, okay. Perth, if I recall, is literally the most isolated city in the world in terms of distance to other cities. Over 1M pops. I don't know what that means. Um, backup battery. Defense drone mark one. I feel like it's not efficient to do that. I'm going to do... Do I sell my defense drone? How much repair can I get and still get backup battery? Only two. We are in sector five. So I still have a pretty good chance of finding backup battery. I'm going to do this and get fuel. Just keep our defense drone mark two for now. Someone send rap a random map of Australia. Okay. Damn. Yeah, I've never been to Australia. That's far. Rock plating and... Oh, was I going to get free... Max repair there. That might have been a waste of repair then. I forgot. Okay. You gotta go for like one or two hours. Alright, programmatic. I'm sure somebody I'm sure somebody else will be counting all the damage we take. I'm sure they won't be, actually. But we'll see you later, my friend. If I could send links, I'd send a map of Australia. You are a sub, Zach Dog, so you can send links. Without even being timed out, man. Alright, do we take the ASB shot? I'm guessing we do. We do. Alright. Alright, didn't hit my engines. Ugh, okay. Oh, we resisted the damage. Hey! What do you know? Uh, rock coal plating giving us value here. Wow, these dodges, though. Okay. All right, one more volley. So we kill him and take his fuel. Go. Do, do, do. Rebel Stronghold. Nice. As long as you don't go on about the emus, it's okay. Is this is this a this a map of Australia? Great, <laughs> it's a map of Austria. <laughs> uh, nice. All the the Australia and Austria memes are strong today. <laughs> hey, I've actually been to that Australia. Is that North Australia? I've been to North Australia. <laughs> mm. I actually have been there. I went to... Let me actually look at that. Is Salzburg? Yeah, I went to Salzburg. Is that how you say it? Salzburg. Vienna. Where's Vienna? Vienna, Salzburg, Salzburg, however you say that, and... Um, where in Germany did we go? Salzburg and, I f and one other place. But I've been to Vienna and Salzburg. Beautiful places, by the way. Uh, you miss the Australia Hungarian Empire. You miss it. Was it, a, it was that a thing in our lifetime? Close to a sun? No, thank you. I actually need empty jumps. Uh, what is this video, Kenny? VB long neck for breakfast. Is that Australia meme? 
Okay, we're gonna do this. Because I do not want to get hacked. Do, 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 do. Such good music, man. I wish to get level 2 uh, hacking next, most likely. Good day, Ren. Good day, Burger. Good day, Mike. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Good to see you, man. Okay, looks like he's good on that. Burger saying good day, Rise. We're talking about freaking Australia all day. Wow, how how would this weapon system have I not got any system to stay offline? Okay, well you know what? Screw this guy. Hacking his piloting here. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Cloak this guy. No surrender. I actually kinda do need fuel, but oh well. We got three fuel, but and more scrap. Doing all right today, just moving one day at a time. Avoiding the salt. So far, yes. This run has actually been insane. I got a free flak, two free defense drones. Got an insane weapon system in Sector 2. I can't complain about this run. Wow. Well, I can complain about this sector layout, though. Trying to get under construction flagship. Let's go ahead and get some power, though. Let's do that. Can't spam the salt emote now. Oh, you sure can. It just um, doesn't make as much sense. <laughs> okay. We're definitely going to hack his piloting here. Three shields. Big giant missile. And I'm going to get um, defense drone online. I decided that the lore behind the ship is that a giant space turtle had a rock ship built under it. Yeah, that's as far as I've got. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. He blocked my heavy laser shot with his missile. How the hell does that crap happen, huh? How the hell does a missile block a heavy laser shot? What are the freaking odds of that happening, man? Do we sense a flackening in the making? Making a flackening in the making. Well, I did skip one flack. I I had a chance to buy one at a store and I didn't buy it because I wanted to get my heavy laser online. So I have not been true to the flack. Completely true to the flack. Oh, you're not a sub anymore, so you can't. Uh, so you can't spam it. That's true. That's right. You'd, you'd have to sub yourself. All right, let me see here. Um, 5, 10, 15, 16. Let's get 17 power going here. So that gives us 9 power total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then like 9. And I don't have backup battery. What I haven't got a lot this run, a lot of this run is fuel. So. All right, let's do this. Looking for under construction flagship right now. Using the red rock heavy armor as my base image, and you'll pixel art in the fins yourself. You're pretty good at pixel art. Nice, DJ Total Blazing. Sounds awesome. Okay. Um, all right, we have cloaking for his first volley here. Pretty good doges. Just gonna go all on his weapons on the second volley. Nice. Holy crap, a combat Mark II drone. What? Really? I'm hacking that shit. Get out of here, sir. Get out of here with that crap. How, how do you have so much dodge? How? How is this the thing that you have? You're supposed to have half power. How do you have all of this stuff? Half power. Oh, well, you're dead. So get wrecked. 
as you do zero damage to me. Just realize that this is a flak run. <laughs> Huge. Kenny's not really paying attention. He just comes and hangs out in chat. He doesn't actually watch what I'm doing. <laughs> Which is probably like Shogi, since he hates this game. Wendy's new barbecue sauce is crap. Yeah, I wouldn't go to Wendy's for barbecue sauce. So, uh, not, not saying I'm too surprised by that. I mean, I don't even like the barbecue sauce at McDonald's, so. And I like Wendy's more than McDonald's. All right, free stuff, free stuff. Damn. All right, let's fight it. Holy crap. How do you have so much shit online? What is this? Could you please just destroy the drone this time? That's what you're supposed to do, you piece of crap game. That is twice now I've hacked a drone and it didn't go offline. Okay. So screw your frickin' drones, you BS game. Now he's gonna dodge everything. It's vinegar-based barbecue crap. What? What is vinegar-based barbecue sauce? I don't know. Because I don't know about barbecue enough about barbecue sauce to know what that even means. Is most barbecue sauce not vinegar-based? Because I don't know. So many dodges, man. Watching Rand for gameplay in 2019. God, you're... Thanks, Kenny. Thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah, I thought, I thought most barbecue sauces were vinegar-based. But again, I'm no expert. I like some barbecue, but I don't know that much about barbecue. I've... I think I... I don't know if... I don't think I've ever even made a barbecue sauce. Three, four, five... Can I please get an empty jump so I can get frickin' under construction flagship game? Please. You're gonna have to boycott barbecue sauce from here on out. Okay. Sure have some fuel. Pike beam, okay. Wow. When I want empty jumps, I can't get them, man. It's crazy. You watch for the FTL. See, Burger. Burger knows. Reject his offer. Can't trust these frickin' rebels. Is that a defense drone mark two? It is. How did I do shields? He's got. That's yeah, fine. Just hope I time this correctly. Nice! Don't cloak that because we need to cloak the flak mark too. Nice. I mean, you're offering me fuel deals and. I should probably be taking fuel deals, but I want scrap. You watch Rand for the salt. <laughs> Don't you know everyone ran, watches Rand for Star Wars hot takes, not his gameplay? What are Star Wars hot takes? Literally every sh jump has been a ship fight when all I want is an empty jump for a chance at the under construction, under construction flagship. That's a hard series of words to say. I'm Sean Connery. I want a cookie. I like cookies. You're going to make some food? Please don't skip abandoned. All right. Getting. I'll do my best. Six lasers, eh? Yeah, my biggest challenge right now is dealing with freaking borders. Honestly, it's kind of crazy. Borders are our biggest challenge. Nope, not taking fuel. I refuse your fuel. Cannot make me take your fuel. 
Hey, what's up, Tiberian? How are you doing? Hey, an empty jump. Finally a chance at the other construction flagship. Let's go. Let's go. Give me that. Um, I'm going to get one more dodge so I can have 100% dodge while I cloak. This this is what I was hoping all of my max o penis runs would be like. Oh, man. I think I actually need to buy crew right here. Um... Wow. All right. That's a cheap NG. We'll take the NG. Put you on doors. Okay. So if this... If one of these has the under construction flagship, then we might be able to go back over... Go back to the store. So let's do it. Tiberian of the Tiberius clan. Well... <laughs> I got two empty jumps this sector. And neither of them were the uh, under construction flagship. What's 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 some great RNG right there? All right, well let's just no under construction flagship for us. Not buying a human event instantly. Unfollowed, unsubbed, unliked. Nobody's my friend. Okay, let's do this. Wow. That's what you left through, bro? What a piece of crap you are. Defense drone, uh, you suck. Uh, then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hack his shields. You can hack me. I'll show you how to hack, bro. How about no weapons for you? Get wrecked. Do, 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 do. Alerts off. What? What does that mean? Are you saying my alerts are, are my alerts aren't coming through? They should be. Follows were happening earlier. Wow, they they keep offering me fuel, and I keep saying you could take that fuel and pry it from my cold dead fingers. Is that is that what I would say? Wow, that's a lot of scrap. Okay. Delay the pursuing fleet. Well, sadly, we're on the exit beacon, so just give me extra stuff. So. All right. Uncharted Nebula. All right. No abandoned for me to skip. You, I was memeing with you. You said all the stuff unfriend, unsub. Ah. Okay. Didn't get the meme. My bad. All righty. What do we want to do here? We want to find a store. Because so I got rock plating and... Pike beam to sell. Automated reloaders would be amazing. Getting another flak now would be great. We are in sector six, so I probably should get the final hacking, but I'm going to hold off because I'm hoping for a store. Ship was full of humans anyway. Sure. All right, there's our store. Okay. So, pre igniter would actually not be as good as automated reloader with these fast firing weapons, in my opinion. Okay, attack the ship. Man, they keep boarding and this 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 ship is actually kind of terrible for venting, I guess. Is it double mantids? Ah, it's zero mantids. Alright, I like that. Got a lot of lasers. Let's go ahead and cloak it. Lots of doges. Okay. All right. The defense drone doing work, man. Defense drone doing work, man. That's a good amount of fuel. All right, I'll take six fuel. That'll save me having to buy fuel at the store, or at least only having to buy a couple of fuel at the store. Except for taking missiles offline, weapon pre-igniter is never bad. 
That's never bad. I just saying I'd rather have an automated reloader. I'd rather have two automated reloaders than a than a single uh, pre-igniter myself. Myself. You know what? Pike beam is better than heavy laser here, though. As much as I love my heavy lasers, pike beam is just just all around better here. All right, do I swap out now my defense one for a defense two or the defense two for a defense one? I think I do. That way it doesn't get distracted. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that. Or I just have double defense drones, but I've tried that and I don't like it. So we're going to do this. Do that. Let's get one power here so I can have this online. And... Go here, store, and up and around. Okay, let's do it. Randy should try Descent into Darkness mod. It changes a lot of stuff. I think I've heard of that one. I've never tried that one. I do need to try it then, I guess. Descent into Darkness. That sounds like a whole other game, honestly. Like, friggin', you know, Darkest Dungeon or something. Oh, they didn't even stay in there. Okay, nice. What am I doing in Shortest Journey? Tomorrow. Tomorrow we're playing Shortest, Shortest Journey for the first time in a while. I actually checked... Um, the last time I played Shortest Trip to Earth was actually this year. I thought it was longer ago, but I actually played Shortest Trip to Earth uh, like in January of this year, so it must have been earlier this year that we tried it for the... Uh, when we were playing it in early access or whatever. Yeah, we're playing Shortest Trip to Earth tomorrow. And Wednesday is the plan. Uh, you know, it's actually kind of unsettling how well a turtle fits inside a rock heavy cruiser. <laughs> well, maybe the rock heavy cruiser was designed after a turtle shell. You know, it wouldn't be... Uh, wouldn't be surprised. You're hyped. Taking a curable break? Yeah. Well, I've been wanting to play Short Trip to Earth. I've had a lot of people asking about it. And, um... Uh, Moonho with the bits. Nice. There is text-to-speech for bits. But you have to do more than one bit, Moonho. So, you know, you can't be a cheap person. Yes, I think it's like a dollar or more to actually get text-to-speech to work. So. Um. Not that I'm calling you cheap or anything. <laughs> But yeah, I've been wanting to play it, and uh, I've been enjoying the Kerbal, but I, I I wouldn't mind a break of a week or two from it. Um, yes, thresholds protect from the trolls. I actually started off having one penny people could do text-to-speech, and then I got trolled, and then I immediately turned it off. So, hashtag cheap sad. There you go. Um... I do want crew. Do I want rock? Do I want to get both of these guys? What else do I want? I mean, we're pretty much set. So I think I might just buy two crew here. Pilot. Yeah, I think I want immune to, immune to mind control pilot anyway. And then rock for blue options. Let's do that. You can go hang out there since they love to board over there. Put you on sensors. Okay. Here you go. Okay. This could be free stuff. Could also be nothing. How many gems do I have? At least seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I might get eight. Let's let's go for here. Let's do this. Do you need a you need a hug? Some somebody will do it. Not me though. Too busy kicking ass taking names okay here we go that's really good weapons man okay okay let's hope that 60% dodge is good it's good doing this we hack so you can't dodge and then we'll hope we take all of your crap offline. Nice. Beautiful. 
No crap for you. I'm the only one who gets crap around here. Hey, you know, Moonho, if you're if you're cheap sad because you're poor, I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there with you. I'm sure there's a lot of people here who can feel the pain of being cheap sad or poor sad or whatever. What is the voice of the TTS? Um I think it's just a random woman electronic sounding voice. I think is what it is. Alright, level three hacking, boys. Sounds like someone just recently paid a bill. That makes me cheap sad every time damn time. No, but I looked I recently looked at my bank account. That's when I get cheap sad. <laughs> Looking at my bank account, knowing I have to drive for Uber and Lyft to make sure I can pay rent this month. So that's what makes me cheap sad. It's Kenny's voice, that's right. Level 3 cloaking and running away. I hate this effing game. Bullshit. Alright, do I hack piloting? Yeah, let's hack piloting. Hello, ship looks strong. That's right, how are you doing, Viking? We are... This has been a very, very strong run so far. Nice. Okay. We didn't breach the piloting, but we gave ourselves a good chance of killing him before he runs away. Did level one, uh, made this go down to level two cloaking now. Cloak that. I'm going to actually, do I wait for the hacking? No, nah, he's got no piloting, so we don't wait. Beautiful. Zero damage fight. No running away from me. Can't run from me. Okay. Sad that people need to work multiple jobs just to pay rent. That is the situation, especially in America. It's probably like that in many places, though. But is there a difference between hacking piloting versus engines? But no, it's effectively the same thing. All right, long-range scanners. I mean... I can't complain too much because it's my choice for what I'm doing for a living. I'm choosing... Hey, thanks for the bits. Um, I'm choosing to do jobs that don't pay super well. Well, my singing pays really super well. I can't complain about my singing, the amount of money I make in my singing. The problem is it's not regular. So, But again, I'm choosing to do these types of jobs because they're things that I love to do but aren't like, you know banking or insurance or some other stupid crap that I actually just hate the idea behind. Not so much banking, but insurance. I actually do hate the idea behind insurance. Right, I'm probably going to use a defense drone here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Good job. Don't want the fuel. Did you do the no repairs allowed challenge? No, I have not done that, Kopf. I have not done that. Rand's pole dancing for the ladies gig. Pays well, too. <laughs> pole dancing for the ladies. Piloting brings evasion to zero. Engine still leaves piloting effectively active. Um, but if you have piloting but no engines, your evasion is still zero, Tiberian. So... Um, but I still prefer piloting because once the hack ends, piloting usually has less, piloting has less max system power. So if you hack piloting and then shoot piloting, it's easier to get it offline. But I guess you could hack engines and shoot piloting and it'd be a similar thing. So one, two, three, four, five. Do I think I get five? I think I do. Piloting will have fewer power bars and engines. Yes, that's, that's. That's so you could still hack engines and then shoot piloting and it'd be effectively the same, I think. When is Ren Ren going to do that weird thing YouTubers do when they tour? I don't know what that weird thing is that YouTubers do when they tour. So I don't know when I'm going to do that. Wow, you have really good shit online for having no power. All right, it's fine. Double fl uh, double flack. And will we hack? I'm going to hack your weapons maybe. Apparently hacking this does 
jack shit. And I've tried that twice now. Let's get his shields offline to try to tear through him quicker here. Nice, get wrecked, bro. No surrender, you die. Nice, zero damage against this guy who's got a BS amount of power in a half power nebula. Uh, piling doesn't take power. I'm not talking about power, six papayas. Uh, I guess you guys are having a discussion about that. Hacking engines is more efficient. Why is hacking engines more efficient? Because you are blocking enemy power, too. Oh, I guess that's true. I never thought about that, Kenny. Interesting. So if you hack engines, their power that's in the engines is not being used. I never thought about that. So it's actually better to hack engines and shoot piloting if you want to take out a dodge. I think. What do YouTubers do? Die of alcohol poisoning? Uh, is that a dig on somebody? That sounds... Horrible. <laughs> wow, why why is every jump an ion storm with half power? Alright, well give me one more power. You know, freaking give me all this power. I'm just doing this because freaking ion stone uh, ion storms everywhere. Some big YouTubers like to go on tour uh, tour, but I don't know why, because I feel like most YouTube content doesn't work live. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, I know some people will like, I know there was a big fad fad for a while, people doing like Pokemon Go. Oh, wow. Okay. Vulcan Double Flak is definitely my weapon system. Okay. How much did they get that online? 190. They were doing like, you know, streaming them going out and doing Pokemon Go and stuff. AI seems to only swap power and weapons though. Rand's alternate streamer goes on tour all the time. See the chair stream everywhere. <laughs> well, if I were to like stream something that I was, you know, doing that wasn't gaming, it would be singing stuff, of course. Um, then I'd run into copyright issues, though, and so that would be an, that would be challenging to deal around about that. Hey, what's up, Donut Batman? Okay. Um, yeah, if I can get uh, if I can get double flak one um, Vulcan, that would be freaking amaze balls. Next Twitch sing stream when I should do that again, Cthulhu. Um, I don't know because I'm trying to stream do streams where I get lots of viewers, <laughs> and that doesn't happen so much when I do Twitch sings. But maybe I might do another one of those soon. It would probably be on a day when I would be um, normally not streaming and I do a bonus stream. So like a Friday when I don't need to drive or something. Or end, uh, end an FTL stream day with some Twitch things or something. That's probably what I would do, honestly. So maybe maybe this Thursday we can do a Twitch things thing. Maybe Maybe we can. Write your own songs. Yeah, because writing songs is so easy. <laughs> I, I've done, you know, I've done my own arranging, but actually writing songs is challenging. I've actually tried that. I'm terrible at writing words. Words are not good for me. I can do okay with coming up with like a, a, a melodic line or something, but actually coming up with words that are good. <laughs> words are hard, okay? I should do a Twitch Plays FTL. We pick where you go and what system to shoot. Yeah, people have asked about that. And God, that sounds terrible. It sounds so terrible. Because, hey, this is Vulcan plus double flak, by the way. Who needs a flakening when you have a Vulcaning? Um, sounds terrible because people will just choose the worst thing and I would be me dying over and over again, I feel like. Bonus points for space opera while beating the flagship. Space opera while beating the flagship, huh? Interesting. I mean, I could I could easily sing opera while fighting the flagship. That's it's no problem. Does it, anybody want that? Is the real question. I 
I mean, I... I got opera. I got opera. Right to go. Yes, we do. No, you don't do that. <laughs> See? See? Split decision on the wanting opera. Crap, I cloaked the wrong thing. Damn it. All right, we, we had pretty good dodges there, though. You want that? Yes for opera while flacking the flagship. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe maybe I'll try to sing some while doing the while fighting the flagship. We'll see. I might not do opera. I might do um, more of the stuff that my vocalese things do, like Hallelujah or something, because opera is more taxing on the voice. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what, what, what the spirit moves me to sing while fighting the flagship. Why not Twitch plays PoE? Real-time games are best for that kind of thing. Yeah, that sounds like a terrible idea. All right, who else got hurt? Just Kirby, okay. Spent way too long making this turtle pixel art look pretty, but boys look pretty. Yes, the bullfighter, please. Oh, you want me to sing the Toreador song? I don't know uh, the Toreador because that's a baritone aria, and I've... I know more tenor arias. Vocalese is my group. That is my group. That's right. As Twitch plays Dark Souls was such a hit. Such a hit. You think instead of... Uh, I think instead of Oprah, it should be a sea shanty. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? There's a Twitch channel doing Twitch plays. KSP, it's been doing going better than expected. Oh, nice. I could I could see that with Kerbal Space Program. There it is. Thanks for the stream. It helps me take my head off a lot of depression and anxiety. Keep the good work. Thanks, Moon Ho. And there's your, and there is your uh, text to speech there. And I very much appreciate those bits. And I'm glad that the stream helps you feel better. I can understand that depression can be a big part, especially a lot of people on Twitch. I feel like there's a lot of people who are dealing with that on Twitch. All right, 30% dodge. Let's hope the 90% is enough. Okay, good. All right, we're just going to auto-fire now. How do you get bits? Um, crap. I don't know. Oh, my God, more bits. Holy crap, that's 500 bits. Here's some bits for opera during boss. <laughs> All right, I guess I got to do opera. All right. Um, uh, trying to think the best way to do it. The best way to do it might actually be to have a re no. I can't do a recording because that'll be that'll get me muted. So if I just I'll, I just got to sing opera a cappella. All right, what what will be a good opera aria that I know? Um, probably one of the more famous opera arias that people know is actually a soprano aria called uh, "O mio babino caro, caro" from. Uh, Johnny Skeeky. But it's a soprano aria, but I could sing it in my octave. Text to speech for the W spam and misspelled vulgarites to skirt filters. So oh my god. I recently became aware of a band with a female vocalist that sings pretty well, has pretty deep growls, and could switch freely between the two. Cool. Cherry cherry lady during the boss fight. <laughs> I don't know about cherry cherry lady. Late later? Lady. Damn, he's taking over the repair station. I thought I was getting that repair. I was hoping I'd get a store, too. I guess we can see if there's, like, a store over here, maybe. I see a couple of not bad girls are in vocalese. Rand, you dirty dog. Oh, it's kind of rude, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're very nice married women who I am friends with who are very good, talented singers as well. Only opera song you remember is that Figaro one, though you don't know how good you are with Italian. Oh, I'm fine with Italian, but you're talking about the aria from Barber of Seville called, um... Uh... Oh, I forget what it's called. Uh, that's a trap. But it's a bear. It's another baritone aria. I'm trying to think of tenor arias that I know that you guys would know. La Boheme arias are really good. Those are very difficult, and I don't know the words for that because I'm not a Puccini tenor. Um, I'll probably do a Verdi Verdi aria. Um, actually, there's a tenor aria from the Magic Flute called "Dispildness is Spezza." 
ist bets albern schön that I used to do. I'll probably forget a bunch of the words, but that might be the one I do. Largo al factorum. That's right, Gilnerio. Thank you. Hit us with the color tour from the Queen of the Night aria from Dietz Alberflute. You can handle soprano part. I <laughs> I can't handle soprano part. I can't handle high Fs in a soprano part. Um, even in my octave, I I would I would be singing falsetto, so it'd be very funky sounding. All right, let me figure out how I'm gonna fight the boss. <laughs> I'm like splitting my attention here. All right, so I never did get back at battery, so I do need two power for the defense drone to stay online. Um, dealing with borders is going to be a challenge, so let's get max doors. All right. Sing us the Halo song. I don't know what the Halo song is. You actually know most of the words for Largo Al Factorum? That's, that's impressive. All right, all right, let me prepare. We got to turn off FTL music for this. Okay. So, this is it's Betz Albert Schoen. Oh, my God. I'm not going to remember the words. I know the melody. I'll probably make up some bad German. So any Germans out there who like, you know, in German, in, in uh, magic flute is like a freaking national pastime for the Germans. So here we go. Is this actually happening? This is happening. Cringe is coming. Prepare to cringe. You asked for it. All right. Let's fight. <laughs> this is terrible. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right. Dies Bildnis ist bezaubern schön, wie noch kein Auge je gesehen. Dies Bildnis, this is the wrong words, dies Bildnis, wie noch kein Auge. God, I haven't sung this so many years. Sorry, I don't remember the words. Completely wrong words. I'm so embarrassed that I can't remember the words. All right, there's phase one. <laughs> there's phase one. God. Ah. Uh. Oh, my voice teacher would be killing me right now. I, my voice teacher would be killing me right now. I, I totally messed up the words. I'm in the completely wrong key. So I'm so verklempt right now. <laughs> You're doing awesome, dude. Great voice. No need to apologize for not remembering. All right. All right. I'm going to get some sheet music out so I can do this better. Hold on a second. <laughs> das war nicht schlecht. Yeah, uh, the German was way off. Let me see. Let me see if I can get music and do a better job here. Uh, or I could do one of my vocal lead songs that I actually know better. Um, hold on a sec. I'm going to get... This is ridiculous. I'm going to go get sheet music, and I'm going to do an, ar an aria from uh, uh, Rigoletto, I think. No, I'll be right back. This will probably even be one you guys know. Uh, let me see. Where is it? La Donna Immobile. Very famous tenor aria. I've never actually performed it. But let me get this music so I can sing it. I'm looking at words. I'm going to look at words while singing this aria. Oh, crap. That's the, that's, I didn't mean to do that. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. You guys can thank me later. <laughs> or you can hashtag blame... Thousand bearded midgets. All righty, let's see. Um, I'm also doing this in a lower key because I haven't warmed up my, you know, actual fully supported operatic voice here. I'm trying to play this game correctly while I do this too. Uh, phase two, he's going to have boarding drones. Let's go value points here. God. Okay. Uh, supporting drones, got to deal with these guys. I don't have level 202. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is like friggin', you know, walking, chewing gum, and patting your stomach all at the same time. Here we go. This is going to be La, La Donna Immobile from 
Rigoletto by Giuseppe Verdi. Let's let's do this. Let's do this thing. Hashtag blame Shogi. Someone post it in stream fails. What? Me changing my screen right there? All right, here we go. Here we go. Yum tum da dee da dum dum tum da dee da dum ja da da dee da da. This is the uh, orchestral intro here. Ah oh, crap! Hold on a sec. Let me get let me get my let me at least get my hacking here first before I start singing. God damn it! Okay. Okay. Auto fire! Auto fire! Auto fire! La donna immobile, qual più il mal vento, qual a mute da cento e di pensiero, sempre un amabile che più l'avviso, in pianto in riso e di pensiero, la donna immobile, qual più il mal vento, in la luce to la ram pensier tri da tri eri pensier okay i took a bunch of damage there cracked some high notes but there there we go <laughs> we'll do we'll do second verse on the final face i take half my health here uh <laughs> multiple voice cracks like i said not fully warmed up and that's not even the right key but uh, there you go there you go I do this. I do this for you, chat. I do this for you. <laughs> uh, all right. Those rebels aren't prepared for my opera. My opera missile flax. Rant sings de Zauberflitte. Oh, great. Oh, you guys are clipping this crap. Oh, man. I am. I am. Uh, this is why I don't sing much on stream, because... When you're a professional at something, you don't want to suck at it. And, uh, you know, I don't feel like I'm making the best sounds right now. So, <laughs> in space, in, in space, the rebels can hear you sing. Go get them, Rand. All right. So, uh, like, to me, this is not my best singing. But, okay. Well, uh, we're going to do second. We're going to do second verse and try to <laughs> finish the boss fight uh, while singing the second verse of... Um, La Donna Immobile. Uh, let's see here. I want to actually win this run, too. If I fail this run, I'm have to deal with borders while doing this. Oh, my God. Okay. Hashtag demonetized. <laughs> uh, I don't think singing a an opera aria will get you demonetized. Pretty sure, pretty sure I'm safe on that front. Okay. All right. All right, so we got to deal with borders. I might pause between verses as I try to... Let, let's, let me go deal with the borders first. Let me get boarded and run away before I start singing here. Okay. Because uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to deal with borders, do the micro, and be able to deal with all this. So. Okay. Okay, cloak. Oh crap! All right, gotta run. All right, run. We got borders. Okay, let me run and we sing next phase. I promise. If you fail, I take the blame. Okay. Where did this crew go? Did they all die or did they go back? Surely they didn't go back. I don't think they did. All righty. Well, if we fail, it'll be a spectacular, operatic, mega fail. So. Here we go. The opera goes perfectly with the destruction Rand is laying down on the flagship. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. I got 12 health while trying to do this. All right. We deal, dealt with most of the borders. All right. Here we go. E sempre misero, chiele l'ansiero, e di pensiero, e di pantiero, pur mai non sentesi. Felice a pieno, chi su quel seno non liba amore. La donna è mobil, qual più il mal vento, e di la cento, e di pensier. 
Any pensier, any pensier. Tum tum tari da do, tum tum tari da da, yum tum tum di da da. Here comes our thing. Di 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 di. One second, one second. I'll continue. We'll do a we'll do a reprise of that verse after we deal with the stuff here. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, oh, that's fire in my in my thing there. Okay. Here we go. Uh. Sempre misero, pura la cero, eri l'omsiero, eri pensiero, pur mana sentesi, yarda la cero, non yab amore. Chiusa qual seno, not a name of pil, qual pil mal vento, in a sara cento, eri pensier. And GG, there it is, boys. GG. <laughs> Frickin' operatic final phase of the boss fight. My face is burning red, I'm sweating like crazy. And uh, there we go. <laughs> the people next to you are looking at you very oddly. This is the ideal male form. You may not like it, but this is peak performance. <laughs> Mom comes in, switches to porn. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Well, there you go. There's some, uh, there's some Rand sings opera. People ask me to sing opera all the time. Clip that. We can, uh, we can lead that to some, <laughs> some hearing Rand sings. Hey, thanks for the hundred bits. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Not my peak singing, but uh, I, I hit some high voice notes. I'm, I'm happy. 51-34, not a bad score. <laughs> the score is secondary here, I, I'm sure. Bravo. Bravissimo. Molto bene. All right. Now you can finally leave your class. It was great. Thanks, Zach Dog. <laughs> Saucer just gifted five subs. Oh, my God. The 41 ships to beat 101 beacons. 1593 scrap. <laughs> the only reason I could do that is we were so OP. I played that so suboptimally because I'm trying to, like, sing Italian words and look at my music and... <laughs> Try to micro at the same time. <laughs> da capo. Oh, God. All right, guys. Well, that was fun. Singing opera while trying to do a freaking boss fight. Uh, let me turn my music back on real quick. Oh, my God. Welcome to Viking Pirate Noob Scrub Canoe DK. BJA and Max Level Geek. Welcome or welcome back. <laughs> oh, let me let me get the... Uh, let me get the... Uh, FTO music back on here. But uh, you can all thank Thousand Bearded Midgets for me singing freaking opera while playing, while going against the boss. So <laughs> thank you for all the support. I'm going to stand up, stretch, cool off a little bit because, you know, I'm a little sweaty from my performance there. I got to say, when I try to sing on stream, I get so much more nervous than just playing video games. So because <laughs> I don't want to screw up. So I'll be right back. Thank you all for hanging out. You guys are amazing. Uh, we'll play some more FTL in just a second. Be right back, guys. <laughs> 